course while I teach the class, and maybe um, we're going to have music, um, but if uh, I feel that I need to be giving instructions, I might not uh, have music. I just want to say that uh, we're all doing our part by staying home to flatten the curve. Thank you for being responsible. Thank you for being thoughtful and considerate. I know it's very difficult, especially for uh, dancers to keep in shape while working from home. Behind me is a little home studio. There's a bar, but for you at home, you can use the back of a chair to grab on and uh, a yoga mat so that some of the positions won't hurt your back or your knees. And yeah, I just hope that uh, you enjoy the class and you get a workout as well. And at the same time, understand a little bit of uh, the techniques that we apply as ballet dancers and enjoy the art of classical ballet, which is quite different from any other workout I've tried. I've tried yoga, I've tried Pilates, um, I've tried uh, so many different uh, um, exercise videos, but for me, doing a good ballet workout um, is still the best. So, I hope you're, you're ready, and uh, let's start with sitting down on our yoga mat. Let me just move back a little bit. I hope you can hear me. Put your feet, the soles of your feet together and let your knees just drop naturally to the side. Yes, this we call this like a frog position. And uh, make sure that your core is engaged. And let's just bring our uh, shoulders down. Um, let's do the uh, pencil uh, for posture. Tip number two in my series of 60 second ballet tips. So let's touch the, uh, the tips of our fingers to the back of our neck. Open your chest wide. Imagine that there's a pencil in between your shoulder blades and feel that pull up. All right, okay, let's start. Let's just bring the head down and to the side, to the back and to the side. Again, down, and to the side, and to the back, and to the side. Just a little faster. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Let's reverse it. Down, to the side, to the back, to the side, and down, to the side, to the back, to the side. Faster, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Let's warm up the shoulders, do big circles with your elbows, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, reverse, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stretch up, try to reach for the ceiling. Two, clasp your fingers together, palms to the ceiling, stretch. Two, and exhale, contract. Push forward with your palms and open and relax. One more time. Stretch up to clasp your fingers, palms to the ceiling. Push and go forward, contract and Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> 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 
No, 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 no. So I'm six, seven, eight. Ready? Five, Five, six, 
six, seven, eight. All right, we're ready to do Batma Tandu. So again, imagine that you're lying down on the ground. We just did this lying down. So the back has to be straight, stomach engaged. One, two, three, four. This is what we did. We pointed to the front and we close. Heels forward, toes back. We point to the front and we close. One last time, we point. Stay, there's no weight on that. Yes, all the weight is on this foot. And we close. We have to do it to the side. We point and we close. We point to the side and we close. This is called Batma Tandu, to the side. And we close and let's just do a Demi Plie to relax with first quarter breath. All right, your side. Seven, seven, eight. All right, we'll do it to the other side. First position, remember the first position that you did earlier. While flexing our feet on the ground, so now we're going to be holding the bar with the right hand. Five, six, seven, eight. Then eight. One, oh, okay. two, stretch. Three, four. Keep the back straight like you're lying down. Five, six. Stretch. Seven, eight. Look at the back of the hand. Go down. One, two. All the way down. Three, four. Bring it 
Guys, I'm down. sweating. I'm really getting a workout. All right, then keep our knees as straight as you can. Let's do it. Um, turn it up. Swimming with the game. Regular passing. Swimming with the game. And close. One last time. Swimming with the game. Regular passing. Swimming with the game. And close. Right. Take your hand off the bar. Bring it down. Let's do the first part of that one more time. First position, fifth or third position, open to second position, and breathe with the arm, and first position, fifth position, second position, and breathe with the arm. Step them to the side. bending forward, side, side, and we did our back exercise to get ready to bend back, which is 
not quite what we need to do at the moment. Um, I hope to be able to continue teaching this class. It's really meant for complete beginners who just want to try and do some classical ballet. Mm -hmm. <laughs>